This is Emily with Daz3D and today I'm going to be showing you the face transfer plugin. With this plugin you can take a face from a photograph and add it onto a Genesis 8 figure in Daz Studio. I would like to note that this plugin is for Daz Studio 4.12 or later. If you have an earlier version, you can upgrade for free to get this functionality. If you have just downloaded Daz Studio, you can find the face transfer pane on the left side of your interface. If you're a returning user, you can find it by going to Window, Panes, and then click Face Transfer. Once you have this pane up, make sure that you're under the Generate Face tab, click on the drop down next to Source Image, and browse to the image that you'd like to use. I already have my image, so I'm going to go ahead and load that in. You'll then want to choose the gender of the figure that you would like to load into the scene and then click Generate. Notice that this loads the Genesis 8 male with the face transfer skin and morph already applied. You do not have to load the figure separately. You'll also notice that right in the middle of the forehead, there is a Daz 3D watermark. This watermark will disappear when you save the face transfer. Now that the figure is loaded into our scene, we can start working on further customizing the figure. One really great thing about this plugin is that you can use the Genesis 8 morphs on these figures. For example, I have my Genesis 8 figure selected in my scene pane, and I'm going to come down to my parameters pane, and I really want to see how this figure would look as a gorilla, so I'm going to dial up this morph. Notice that the texture from the face transfer have stayed the same when I do this. Now I want to see how my figure would look as a hobgoblin. Still, the textures stay the same, the figure has its beard, and the figure is morphed into a really cool goblin. One of my favorite things to do with morphs is combine them so that I can create my own unique figure. To show this, I'm going to load the Gorilla Morph while I have the Hobgoblin Morph loaded onto my Genesis 8 figure, and I now have a really cool, really unique figure that I can use in my renders. I highly recommend mixing and matching morphs after using the face transfer tool to create your own unique figures. We would love to see all of the customized figures that you've created using this plugin, so please upload them to our galleries. You can also put the links to those gallery images in the comments below. If you do have any questions, please reach out to our Help Center. We are always happy to assist you there.